So a lot of people have asked just how you get the new artwork archive embed feature integrated into a FASO website. That's Fine Art Studio Online. I'm here on my client Karen Weiss's website on FASO. And you'll see that there's a page called Artwork here. And if I click on that, you'll see this is actually the embed of Karen's public profile images from Artwork Archive. So how do we get that integrated into the website? Let's go over to Karen's FASO control panel. And so what you'll see here in the left-hand column is that there's a choice called More Categories. So let's click on that. Now there's a column for the categories that you're using already and a list of all the categories available. In this case, let's click on the Pages choice in the right-hand column. Now here, you'll see a list of any pages you've created previously and a choice to add a new page. So you can just click the Add New button So you end up here on a blank page. Let's title this Artwork 2 to differentiate it from the existing artwork page. Now here is a place where you can type any content that you want on a page, but if you paste the embed code from Artwork Archive here, it's not going to work. So first, let's go over to Artwork Archive and get that embed code. I'm here in Karen's Artwork Archive account, and the code is available under My Profile. So click on My Profile in the left column, and then in the menu on the top, click on Integrations. Once you've done that, you'll see the embed code, so you'll just copy that. And now that's in the clipboard, so let's head back over into FASO. So now we're back at FASO at that blank page. And if you paste that code right here, it's actually not going to work. Um, I'm going to say that you could type something here. Anything you want. But in order to put the embed code in, you can't just paste it here. You have to go over here on this little menu here and choose HTML. And you'll see that the HTML for what you've already typed there is displayed here. So you'll just go right down below that. Um, right down below that. And paste in the embed code and then just click Update in the lower left, and you'll notice that nothing displays here at all. And in fact, you might even get the little spinning wheel of death. What I have found that if you go up here and click Add and Save Now anyway, even if the wheel is spinning, that it seems to work fine. So you'll see here that I have a page called Artwork 2 now in this list. So now, in the left-hand column, let's go to Edit Navigation Bar. And so when I click on that, you'll see on the right side are all the pages that are actually displayed on my website. And on the left-hand side, at the very bottom, there's a choice called Page and a little down arrow that you can click on. And when I click on that, you'll see any custom pages you've made are listed here. And so in this case, let's take that Artwork 2 page that we just made, and what you're really going to do is drag it up here into your menu in whatever position it is that you want to have it display. And of course you can drag it up and down into different places, but in this case we'll just leave it here for now, and click Save. Now that I've saved that, I'm going to go back to Karen's live site and I'm going to refresh it and you'll see that Artwork 2 
is here. And anything you've typed here will display above the gallery. And the embedment of the public portfolio from Artwork Archive is there. And that's really all that you really need to know, I think, about how to embed Artwork Archive into your FASO website. So good luck with it.